Welcome back to the translated versions of my Fusion Minis. This is episode 2 and this time it's all about the toolbar up here. If you open Fusion for the very first time, you might notice that mine is slightly shorter. I think the default one is twice as long or maybe even longer. That's because I customized mine. And how have I done that? A simple right click on any of these symbols will open this dialog box. And here you can start customizing. My toolbar is called Tobias and I can easily create new ones if I like to. I can create two, three, four, five hundred or more toolbars if that's necessary. And here on the right you can see me choosing the tools for my specific toolbar I am working on right now and then I can simply turn the toolbars on and off easy. Okay and if I think that's the worst thing I've ever done then I can of course delete it and nobody will ever know. Fine. That's all there is to it. Except of one thing I've noticed. Um, in Fusion 7 it was possible to customize toolbars however you liked and then Fusion knew that this is my default setting and I want it to look like that. In this beta, Fusion 8 beta 2, however, this does not seem to work. Neither on my Windows system nor on my Mac. Well, I'm not sure if that's something that's gonna stay. I hope not. Um, but as long as that's the case, you have to walk the extra mile by activating your toolbars because they are there. They're simply not showing. Okay, we're at the end of episode two. Episode three will be about timecode. Feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you very much and bye for now.